health care and immigration experts across the country are paying close attention to a controversial case involving an illegal immigrant who was secretly deported by a South Hospital floor, uh, Southern, Southern, Southern Florida Hospital, I should say. It all started back in July of 2003 when the hospital chartered a private jet and sent 37-year-old Luis Jimenez back to his native Guatemala without telling his relatives in the United States. Jimenez was suffering a serious brain injury after a car accident and the hospital had spent more than $1.5 million on his care over three years. The man's appointed legal guardian in the United States, who's also his cousin, is suing the hospital for the secret deportation. Joining me now from San Francisco is Linda Quick. She is president of the South Florida Hospital and Healthcare Association. From Washington, D.C., Dan Stein, president of the Federation for American Immigration Reform. And from San Antonio, Texas, Luis Vera, who is legal advisor for the League of United Latin American Citizens to bring Dan Stein in because I want to take a uh, listen for a second to what President Obama said just a few uh, just a day or so ago about this kind of problem if we can roll that clip okay. do you think any illegal immigrant should be eligible for health care under the new plan no the, the one exception that I will think has to be discussed is how are we treating children partly because if you've got children who may be here illegally but are still in playgrounds and at schools uh, and uh, potentially are passing on uh, you know, illnesses and communicable diseases that's aren't not getting vaccinated. That aren't getting vaccinated that's I think a situation where uh, you may have to make an exception and Dan Stein well this goes to this whole question of how much money are taxpayers or any any institution, any hospital supposed to pay to provide long-term non-emergency medical care for someone with no right to be in the country? And you know, the president needs to take a look at the Democratic plan in the House because it doesn't contain a proscription against illegal aliens getting health care in the public plan, and it doesn't contain a proper verification procedure to ensure that illegal aliens are, are not also providing uh, get, getting the um, eligibility credits, the discount credits, so affordability credits. So we really need to Stein, take a very closely I'm look at this whole issue because it is a big issue under the plan. Illegal aliens will get benefits under the House version. And on that note, I'd like to thank Linda, Dan, and Lewis for all joining me today.